all of this is passport bro movement, what I'm describing. But the, a gentleman that's a content creator walking with a camera, we're interviewing people that follow his content. That's mm-hmm. his movement. That's his content. He's a traveler. He's a mm-hmm. vacationer. He's not a relocator. Lastly, what I like to say before I give the mic to everyone else is you do excellent work, brother. But I really highly recommend that you take advantage of this moment with your platform and let people know the truth about Passport Bro Movement. A lot of you guys have been sending me emails and asking me to speak about the quote unquote Passport Bros that I get in deleted. I believe it's like eight or nine of them that got deleted. And a lot of them make videos how these women drug them and rob them. I didn't want to touch up on this subject because I just did a video explaining the real passport bros and the reason why they are traveling overseas. However, a lot of you guys keep sending me the same thing over and over and over. So here we go. Hello. Welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. This is what I want you guys to understand, because that's a difference between tricking and passport bros. Huge difference. Huge difference. And like I said in the other video, passport bros, the real original passport bros, it was never about women. It was about those brothers that live in the United States that are tired of the high expenses of living in America. Passport Mm. bros, as I defined it before, are men that are looking for new lives. We're not tired of the sisters. We're tired of the system. And until... Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bar. Wait, wait, wait. That was a bar. We're not tired of the sisters. We're tired of the system. It's the system that we're tired of. We're tired of the fact that rips 41%, 47% of all Americans can't afford a $400 emergency fund right now. We're tired of the fact that most Americans right now are paying for, are paying overpriced costs for medication and medical needs, but yet America ranks only number 37 in the world for, for medical. Colombia ranks down here ranks number 22 in the world and doesn't pay that much. We're tired of the fact that Americans are don't even have over 57 percent of Americans don't even have a thousand dollar emergency fund. And so we realize that it's not sisters, some guys who are not a part of the movement who are just regular travelers or vacationers or ex or military guys that are using their passports. They are somehow bundle into what we're doing you've got guys right now that i just got off the phone with earlier and they, they just joined me into one of their whatsapp groups these are all men a couple thousand men that are helping each other learn online careers to where they can make six figures together and they can travel the world and relocate to other locations and not have to deal with six, seven, eight dollar gallon gas in the United States. This is what we do as passport bros. All that imagery of which y'all try to say, y'all come at the black woman, y'all coming at the American woman. We could care less about, in, in all sincerity, uh, Mr. Let Go, we could care less about what's going on in the United States. <laughs> and when these brothers, when they move overseas, their experience is better. Everything is cheaper. Like I said in the other video, they notice women overseas are kind to them. And what do these passport brothers do? They marry the natives, the native women from those countries. Meaning, if they go to Ghana, if they go to Colombia, if they go to Brazil, if they go to Thailand, they marry the women in those countries. They start a family with women in those countries. They don't come back to America. They live happy over there. They don't post. They're dating different women every night, going to jump, in, going club from club, going to country to country, chasing. They don't do that. If they post, they only post. They're showing you their about. They're showing you their wife. They're showing you their kids. They're showing you how they are saving money. They're showing you the house, how they live in a big house. They're only paying maybe a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars on a big house. These are the kind of things that the real passport bros post on social media. We we relocate to other countries. We don't vacate to other countries. I'm going to say that again. We relocate to other countries. We don't vacate 
to other lo- other countries. We let you yourself vacation. We let others travel to other locations, like Boston Holloman trying to find his you know his country or or Ace Live. They travel to different locations, mm-hmm. but as for us as passport bros. It's a completely larger dynamic than the woman. A woman is nothing but a cherry on top. We focus on the cake, not what's on top of the cake. And until you all get to the to the point as content creators, our fellow male content creators, we don't worry about what the women think, but at least our fellow male content creators get to the point to realize that this is bigger than women. If you made it this far, hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. Now, here is the tricks. The tricks, they go overseas for sex. Understand the difference. The original Password Bros were just looking for a better life, period. The tricks, they may meet a woman on Tinder. They may meet a, you know, they go on these apps looking for women to sleep with. Then they fly overseas, sleep with those women and come back. You see? They don't migrate over there. They don't look for jobs over there. They don't look for houses, apartments, or whatever over there. They don't, they're not looking for wives over there. They go over there, have their fun, and come back to U.S. I want to make sure we don't mix the two. And that is why black women hate passport bros. Because they are confusing the tricks with the real passport bros. Real passport bros have families. Whatever country they migrated to, they have families. They're not just bouncing from one woman to one woman to one woman to the... They're not doing that. The real passport bros are getting a bad rep because of the tricks. You see? Tricks. We need to come up with a new name for the tricks. Overseas tricks. We should start calling them overseas tricks because that's what they are. Which is why now... Brothers are, be, are becoming targets. Brothers going overseas, going overseas, look, looking for women, are becoming targets. They are getting drugged and robbed, and a lot of them are getting deleted. Why? Because they attached themselves to the real passport bros. I want. I just want to make sure we understand the two, the difference between the two. Now, passport bros are family men. Brothers that that are in long-term relationships. Brothers that are looking for wives. Brothers that are married, but they live overseas. Uh, My my four-year anniversary is this week, next month. So I've been married for four years. My wife is a corporate tax account. We love when you all sit back and say that women in other countries don't know English. and they, 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 They don't have degrees. My wife has a master's degree. You see? Those are the real passport bros. And I have no problem with the real passport bros. Okay? But the tricks, especially the ones, they just make videos telling you, hey, these Asian women are easy to get. These Brazilian women are easy to get. These European women are easy to get. You see? Those are the tricks. And those are the ones that's giving the real passport bros bad name. I hope I was able to explain this a little better so you guys can stop sending me all these clips about passport bros getting deleted. The real passport bros are safe. Nobody bothers them. They are safe. The people that are getting robbed are the overseas tricks. Understand the two, ladies and gentlemen. Understand the two. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comments below so we can start this conversation. Until the next video, stay safe in the streets. Later. Now we wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please, leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to. Okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on an NS episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.